What's up my people? Bless up on yourself. Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. So the first thing we're going to share with you people, two motorcycle killing St. Elizabeth crash. People, me don't know if a bad lucky them youth or bad lucky or what. But here we go on. Two motorcyclists died as a result of injuries they sustained after collided on the Billards, Ballards, Valimian Road in St. Elizabeth on Friday morning. Their identities have not yet been released by the police. Preliminary reports are that about 6.10 a.m. the men were traveling in opposite direction when they failed to keep left and collided. They were both flung from the motorcycle on impact. The injured men were taken to the hospital where they were pronounced. The police are warning road users to exercise caution and adhere to the road safety measure. People, we see an accident with, um, the other day with a helicopter. Two helicopters collide. Seen? Boy, me find them thing there like one in a billion. Because look how the sky big and I like road where you drive or ride pan. Look how the sky big. I uh, tell me say them helicopter there. Oh, them just you know what I mean crashing at each other. So if me see a helicopter come towards me, I mean at the sky with that helicopter. All me I do I just hold up on the lever and just turn it as far as me can turn it. Figure in a different direction. And all the next pilot after do. I just hold the lever and turn it as far as him can turn it figure in our different direction. And them good. You see me, me don't know how that happened. That a one in a billion people. Because them also have mapping at the sky where them can see other air traffic. You see me, I say, so we are come back to the bike, you know. Them two bike here, them are come from opposite direction. You see me, I say, and you hear what them say, them feel to keep left. So one of the bike rider over the side where him no fit dip on. And it look like say boy. Me, me don't know what you say at me. So. You see me, I say, but RIP to them and tell the other road users, the bike riders, them especially, if you take them time on the road. You see me, I say, because a bike no don't make me always hear that. You understand? Because there's nothing to take the hit off of you. From once you crash, and your body are going to be the fender, your body are going to be the top, your body are going to be the door, your body are going to be the front end, your body are going to be the back of the vehicle. You see me, I say, because the bike are going to just fling you off, and you are going to become the vehicle itself. And there's nothing at all where you can do to lessen the impact. You see, it's on a take time ride, you would. Take time and ride. So we are going to move on, my people. See, <clears throat> a police constable accused of allowing a traveler who was suspected of having ganja in his luggage to continue to the boarding gate at the Norman Manley International Airport has been found not guilty. The verdict was handed down on Thursday by Chief Judge of the Parish Court, Chester Crooks. The constable, identified as Chadwick Bowen, was charged following a ruling by the Director of Public Prosecutions with attempting to pervert the course of justice in relation to the incident which occurred on January 19, 2015. <coughs> the prosecution had alleged that while on duty at the Narcotics Division, Constable Bowen was informed by K-9 police of the of the presence of drugs in the luggage of a British traveller, they allege that Bowen proceeded to open the suitcase which allegedly contained 11.2 pounds of ganja and allowed the British national to continue to the boarding gate. However, during the trial, the defence attorney Peter Champagne KC and Samaya Campbell, who were representing Bowen, Cross-examine the prosecution's witness, 
witnesses and it was revealed that no one actually witnessed Bowen opening the suitcase. It was further revealed that police officers have the direction, uh, sorry, the discretion not to search people once the answers the person gives to the questions asked are satisfactory. Additionally, the investigating officer shared uh, yeah, the investigating officer shared that the British national who was found with the ganja stated that he did not know Bowen. So they must sure say, I know because him know the person make him go through. You know what I mean? Sometimes the officer them can do de, their work and you know what I mean? Them tired or something and them no bother proceed for dig up no suitcase or anything like that. You know what I mean? Because them K9, they them dog, they I know files sitting them go on with too, you know. You see me? So let me know on the thinking of the comment section, people. Maxfield Avenue tents after Jack a Diamond killed in alleged confrontation. <coughs> Section of Maxfield Avenue in St. Andrew are now tents following a fatal shooting of an alleged gang leader by the police on Sunlight Street, Kingston 13. The deceased has been identified as 27 year old Nakeem Jack a Diamond Mullins. <coughs> Mullins, also called Short Boss, and who the Kingston Western Police say is the leader of a faction of the Sunlight Street Gang, was reportedly killed in an alleged confrontation. The incident occurred about 12.20 this morning. So, uh, last night it happened, people. You know what I mean? Last night in at the midnight. You see it? Details surrounding the fatal shooting are sketchy. Residents have however accused the security forces of shooting Mullins in cold blood. Party him ago and them stop the car and him come out and say, I'm a Jack a Diamond and them shoot him. Him all ask them where uno a shoot him for. A resident told our news team, the security forces are keeping a close watch on the area as upset residents have threatened to block the, ev the heavily, sorry, heavily used Maxfield Avenue corridor. So people, when you make me know what you think in the comment section, because a whole heap of time we see police allegedly, you know what I mean, calling up man and people come out and block road and, you know what I mean, and we find out that this person yeah, is a wrongdoer. We now give the police them no power for calling a man if them life not threaten. You know what I mean? Because everybody deserves them day in a court. Can't just call up a man so. You understand me? I'll do. You know what I mean? Most of them man, yeah, them can up people just like that. But the law, the law, I say go. Nobody said it fear. You know what I mean? So everybody deserves them day in a court. So we are going to move on, people. Leo that Bradshaw co accused to return to court on March. Leo that Bradshaw and Roland Balfour, the other two people accused in the murder of parliamentarian Paul Wells, Philip Paul Wells, 10 month old daughter, and her mother, were ordered by the Supreme Court judge to return to court on March 2014. See? <clears throat> Our news team understands that the court was told that the forensic material, forensic certificate, and statements from investigators were not on file. When the two make their next court appearance, it is expected that all outstanding documents will be available and disclosed to the defense team. Judge Vinette Graham Allen ordered that on or before January 31, the statements from investigators should be submitted. The forensic material and certificate were ordered to be submit on an an R before February 29. Bradshaw and Balfour were charged with murder and other offenses in relation to the abduction and killing of the mother daughter Pierre. Bradshaw, who shares a child with Paulwell, has been charged with two counts of conspiracy to murder, two counts of conspiracy to kidnapping, two counts of kidnapping, and two counts of murder. 27-year-old Tashina Pattison and her 10-month-old daughter Soraya Palwell were brutally M-U-R-D-E-R-E-D -E -E 
and their bodies dispose of in September. So people, <coughs> Bradshaw and Balfour, they might go get everything. Because the two men were actually do the killing, you know. Them admit, you know. You see me I say? And I think one of them or both of them decide to turn state evidence, to turn witness, to make them know what go on. You know what I mean? Bradshaw and Balfour are the two mastermind them. You see it? And them order everything. So, I so come the conspiracy charges. You see it? And then the murder charge, them charge them jointly for murder with the rest of man them. Although maybe them never do nothing at all but order the woman and her daughter to get K-I-L-L. You see what I say? So, why people, them forget years to do that to evil the little picnic. You see what I say? So, more no one are thinking at the comment section, people. Like and subscribe. Bless upon yourself and thanks for watching.